All right, here we go. A Angular feed reader in 10 minutes or less. I'm going to start by going to JS Fiddle. I'm starting from scratch. Set this to on DOM ready. This is an Angular feed reader. Example of a feed reader built in Angular. And we'll go out to the Bootstrap CDN and grab the CSS so that we can have some basic styling. Just add that to our external resources. And then I'm going to go out to the CDN for Angular and scroll down to the latest stable release and grab the minimized JavaScript there. And go ahead and bootstrap this. Now, bootstrapping Angular is extremely easy. So here I've included the script. And I'm just going to name the application feed app just like that. Now down here I've got a function that I'm going to call. I'm going to create a module called feed app with no dependencies. And I always like to put a little expression right here just so I can verify Angular is working. And when I run it you can see we get three which is one plus two so we're good to go. Of course in Angular we use controllers so let's do a feed controller and we'll reference it as control in the code. If we run that it now fails because it can't find the controller. That's okay let's go ahead and build a controller. So I've got a controller and I just tell Angular that I'm gonna call it feed controller and here's the constructor function for it and that's all we should need to have our controller now that evaluates again of course we want to have a nice form we'll call it feed form and set it to no submit because angular is going to take care of that for us and on that form I'm going to have an input button that's a form control that's how we tell bootstrap to, to class this and let's make it required a type of URL and we need to bind it to something so we're gonna call something on the controller called feed URL so let's go ahead and say this feed URL equals and I'm gonna give it my blog feed right here <clears throat> so if we run that we should see an input form with that data bound now let's go ahead and throw a button in <clears throat> that's going to be a button button primary and when we click it it's going to click a method on the controller called load feed and it's going to be disabled if the form is invalid and it'll say load feed we'll close out that button I want to go ahead while I'm thinking of it and create a prototype here for load feed. Right now it doesn't do much of anything. Let's go ahead and run that. So we've got the load feed button. If we delete the text you can see it's disabled if it's an invalid URL. So if we put the valid one in it's there. So it's good to go. Now we need to create our service to load the feed. So that service is going to take the HTTP service with Angular. That's how I'm going to fetch content. Then I'm also using the promise service because I'm going to intercept the promise from HTTP and do some things with it. So we need to tell Angular's dependency injection what we're depending on. So if this is minimized, we're not depending on just the way these parameters are spelled out. So we give it a nice list here. And then we just let Angular know about the service. So we'll call this RSS feed and we'll give it that constructor function. I'm going to go ahead and have the controller depend on it so it's going to capture that and then we just need to let Angular once again know that we have a dependency on the feed service. We'll go and run that make sure our data binding works so we're good to go. So let's give this service something meaningful. So I'm going to set up the prototype I'm going to give it a load feed function that'll take a URL now in this function we're going to follow a very standard pattern. We take the deferral 
and we return the deferral promise. So that's all it takes to have the promise, but we need to either resolve or reject that. So to do that, we're going to use the HTTP service. We're going to make a JSON P call. What a JSON P call does is it wraps the JSON data in a callback function that's executed. That allows us to make cross-site calls without getting any authorization issues or having to have special accept headers. And Google happens to have an API, <clears throat> ajax.googleapis.com, ajax services feed load, and I think we give it version 1.0 and Q equals the query is the URL. And then we have to give it this callback. So again, Google's going to go out, fetch the feed, normalize it for us, pass it back, but it's going to pass it back as a function call. So we have to tell it what method is going to take that function, and Angular provides us with this JSON callback. So Angular will intercept that, process it for us, and then we'll have two things we can do. We can deal with a valid response, or we can deal with an error response. So the error response is easy. We take that deferral and we reject it. For the successful response, we resolve our promise, and on the response is a data property that has a response data property that has a feed property, and that's going to pass back that feed information. So let's go ahead and make sure we're kosher there. And then in this load feed function, we can go ahead and capture the controller. And then we can take the RSS feed service, call load feed with the feed URL. Then we'll get that feed back. And we're simply going to assign the feed to the controller so it's exposed for data binding. So now we need something to data bind to. Let's run this, click load feed, and let's just pull up the console and make sure we're not getting any errors here. I might have some from before. So it can't find defer of undefined. So let's take a look at, at what we're doing there. So here in the service, I haven't actually captured the variables. So we'll run it again, load feed, no console errors. So we're getting that. So now we just need to deal with what we've got. So let's make a split. Let's go ahead and create a header. I want to make that a link out. Okay, so that's going to take the link, main link to the feed and in that link we'll show the title. It'd be nice to see a description of the feed. So we'll go ahead and do that. But of course we'll want to loop through the entries in the feed. And it just happens to be called entries, so we've got a good way to access that there. So now we'll use nghref. We'll get the link for that. We'll show that title. And then I want to just put a space, a dash, another space. And then there's something Google creates for us called a content snippet that shows us a little preview. So let's run that. So we've got our little horizontal scroller. I'm going to tap load feed. And look at what we have here. Let's get rid of that side portion I've got C sharper image if I click that it opens my main blog page I've pulled off several entries I can go into my JavaScript chaos and see it render a bifurcation diagram and we are under 10 minutes building a data bound feed reader that loads the feed shows the title the description and all of the entries using Angular and Bootstrap. There you have it.